Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday to you. Today, we are going to start a week where we are going to learn about Earth Day. A lot of the activities that I have planned for this week are all about Earth Day and how we can help keep our Earth clean and about our planet. So today, we're going to read a book about our Earth. And I'm not going to show you what's in this, but we're going to do a science experiment where we're going to start a science experiment together that I'm going to keep at my house and I'm going to update you on every couple of days. And I think that you will really like that. So we're going to read a story today called Thank You World. This is a book. Um, it doesn't really talk about Earth Day, but it gets us thinking about our world and all the things that are in it and all the people that are in it and all the places that are in our world. So we're going to read this together today, okay? I don't have my camera that lets me lay it down so you can see it easily hooked up tonight, so I'm going to hold it in front of the screen um, and let you see the pictures the best that I can. This is another story that has absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustrations. So I remember that illustrations mean pictures. So I really want you to pay attention to these pictures and look at all the different things that you'll see. Some of the stuff that you'll see in this book is not from the United States. It looks different than what we have in our homes and in our community. So I want you to look at the pictures that are from other parts of the world because that will be very interesting. All right, are you ready? Thank you, world. This is written by Alice B. McGinty and illustrated by Wendy Anderson Halperin. Thank you, sun, for waking up in the morning and coloring the sky. If you notice in all of these pictures, the sun has just come up. The sky is an orangey yellow color. And in all of those places, they're ready to start their day. Thank you, sky, for shining blues that call me to touch you swinging high. Then our sky turns blue. And in each of those eight boxes, they're in a different part of our world. Here you can see here that these buildings right there look much different than buildings that we would have here. Here, oops, on this side they have mountains. We do not have mountains close by us. Here she has a camel. Do you have a camel in your backyard that you can go pet every day? I don't. Thank you, grass, for softening my footsteps. I'm dancing with the breeze. So even something as little as grass is something that's important in our world. It makes our world green. And from this little, from the little girl who's telling the story, it makes a nice place for her to dance. It makes a nice soft place for her feet when she walks, dances. It looks like here they're in a fruit market. We have some farmer's markets around here, like in the summertime, but in some places, all of the time, they have fruit out and all of their food out in an outdoor market. Down here, this picture, there's people that are living, it looks like in homes made of sand. When we talked about different homes and how they were built, um, we talked about sand homes that are in some countries. That would probably be in one of those countries. Here, Girls are wearing long gowns. This kind of looks like something we might have around here. We have woods and forest. What else do you notice about this? Can you do backflips or backbends like they are, handstands? Thank you, Breeze, for lifting up my kite wings past treetops, tall and proud. Do you have a kite? People have kites all over the world. Some of them you can't go buy in a store in some places and they have to make their own. Look, these kites are even shaped like animals. They're not just triangles. Thank you, trees. Your branches are my playhouse. I'm climbing to the clouds. Have you ever climbed a tree? 
I don't have any trees at my house that I could climb, but whenever I was younger, I used to climb trees at my grandma and grandpa's. Thank you, clouds, for painting cotton pictures and sending cool, sweet rain. So when they say cotton pictures, do the clouds really paint pictures in the sky? No. But if you look up in the sky and you see clouds, what do they sometimes look like? Up here, look, do they look like little cotton balls in the sky? So it's telling clouds for thank you for making cotton ball skies. And they're saying thank you for sending rain. Here's over here, there's people, it looks like a rain and there's a rainbow in the background. Here this lady is holding up her hand to catch the rain. And there's people here under an umbrella. More people under an umbrella, a family. This family looks like the family that maybe we would have in one of our parks. We probably wouldn't be walking through a desert with a donkey around here. And this might be in some kind of temple somewhere. Thank you, Rain, for watering my flowers and washing my window pane. A window pane is like a window. So rain not only helps things grow, but it also can be a great thing, uh, something that can wash things. So they're thankful for the rain, they're thankful for the clouds and the sun and the grass and the trees, all sorts of different parts of our world. Thank you, window. You're welcome in the, you're, you welcome in the moonlight that yawns from starry skies. So all across the world, people have windows where they can see out. And in these situations, they're looking at the moon and the night skies. Do any of these windows or any of these houses look like yours? I don't think anyone's house looks like this, but maybe your house looks like one of the others. Thank you stars for sparkling so brightly. You shine like mommy's eyes. There's all sorts of mommies and their kids. Remember people from different parts of the world look differently. This is a beautiful page with all sorts of people that come from different parts of the world. Thank you, Mommy, for tucking in my tiptoes and kissing me good night. Hmm, see if any of these beds look like your beds. Do any of those look like yours? Do any of you sleep in a hammock like this, friend? Or here's friends and there's two kids and they're sleeping in two hammocks. I've laid in a hammock outside, but never in the house. And thank you, nighttime. Your soft gray shadows will touch my dreams tonight. Here's all sorts of kids sleeping soundly in the night. All around the world, people have to sleep. And then what is really cool at the end of this book is that there are eight squares, just like there has been in the whole book, and it tells you where every square was from, where every picture. So that shows us that this top picture on every page that was colored purple was a picture from the United States. Then it tells us that this picture on every page that was a, like a light orange was a picture from Mexico. Then it tells us that this pink picture here in every page was a something was a picture from Bolivia, which is a country in Africa. And then on the blue square on every page, it tells us that it was a picture from France, which is where Paris is at. If any of you have ever heard of Paris. In this picture, it tells us about Maui, Ma Mali, I'm sorry. In this picture, it tells us about Saudi Arabia. All the pictures are from Saudi Arabia. This one is India, so every dark orange square on a page was from India. And every picture that was in green was from China. So that tells us, like, this bottom square was China. That means 
that this picture was from China and this picture was from China and this picture was from China this picture was from China. So it's really cool whenever you get to the end of the book, it shows you what all of those places were. And you can then go back and look at them and see how they compare throughout the whole book. Very neat book. It gets your mind thinking. I hope that you will um, continue to think about the earth and learn about Earth Day with us this week because I have some really fun activities planned. This is not an AR book, but I really thought that you would like this book. And um, if you would like, I believe, if you have your mom or dad help you, I think that you can listen to this story online if they search it. There's a, there's a video that goes with this that has song, a song with it. So if your mom and dad will help you, um, don't do it by yourself. But if they will search for it, they may be able to find this story that has a song with it. All right? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, boys and girls.